Hello everyone and welcome back to WSO2 API Manager series. I hope you guys are fine and doing really well. So this video will be captivating as it well into interviewing a new feature of WSO2 API Manager in version 4 so called as API revisions. So let's begin. So in today's session we'll have couple of things that we'll see. We'll see about API revisions followed by a live demo. So publishing displays API in a developer portal and deployment makes an API for invocation via the gateway. The revision feature in WS2 API Manager brings a new architectural change to the previous versions of API Manager. The publisher test console provides a space to test the API before publishing and deploying to the API. So in previous versions, deploying and publishing were tightly coupled that has been decoupled with the latest version of API Manager 4. So now the publisher has more control over deployments, like it has a ability to introduce recoverable changes to the API project. So now the typical flow would be something like this. An API developer uses a publisher portal to deploy the API to the gateway and test the same via the test console. If everything gets fine, then he uses the lifecycle tab to publish the API. So versions are used to separate API versions with the breaking changes. For example, changing the signature of an API, while revisions can be used for a minor and non-breaking changes to an API. For example, adding a resource. What are the key features of API revisions? So API revisions looks like a timeline for ease of access of all the revisions. It we can create and deploy an API gate on API gateway without changing the lifecycle to the published. So without publishing, we can deploy the API and we can test via Publisher Test Console. We can create maximum five revisions and we cannot edit any revisions once this has been created. In case of quota of five revisions exhausted, you need to delete a revision and then a new revision gets created. To discard the latest changes, we have the ability to restore the API to a specific revision. For multiple gateways, we can either deploy the same revision across all the gateways or different revisions as well. If you do not create a revision with the latest changes before restoring to the previous revision, your latest changes in the current API will be lost. So we'll see how the typical flow works. So we use the publisher portal to deploy the API via the screens with that looks something like this. The next step is to deploy a new revision. So once we have created a, a revision, there is a plus sign that we'll use or we have a blue button that says deploy a new revision to create a new revision. So what does the new revision contains actually? So new revision contains the changes after we have deployed the first revision. Next, we can deploy a specific revision at any point of time using the drop down option. And we can undeploy the revision using the same. Our uh, as we can see over here and we can also delete a revision using the delete option next to each and every revisions and in at any point of time if you would like to restore a revision we just need to use the restore option to restore a particular revision so enough talks now let's begin the demo this demo so we'll take two apis uh, with the Mocky endpoints. So Mocky is a website that helps you to quickly create your backend uh, payload. So these are the two endpoints I've been taking. We'll configure in API manager uh, as two different resources. We'll create and test the API uh, with the one resource via the publisher portal. This creates basically the first revision and we'll publish the API and test via the developer portal. Next we'll add a new resource, the second resource and we'll follow the same strategy. Okay, and we'll see the difference. So let's start. So our API manager has already started. So we'll open the publisher portal. We'll log in with the user. So we'll create a new API named API revisions. We'll name it revisions demo give a version for endpoint we'll take it up to here we'll create this api so 
so uh, there may be a ssl issue uh, while coming while interacting from a local host to the remote endpoint so for endpoint i will make it the http endpoint so uh, moki runs on http and https both next we'll go to the resources section we'll remove that default star resources and we'll add a new resource over here it's a get we'll add it here and we have to save it here so once this has been saved if you go to the tryout option there are no so api is not deployed so we cannot test it so we'll go to the deployments we'll deploy this creates our first revision go to the tryout option now we are ready to test using the internal key of the publisher portal try it out execute cool so our api is executed and backend has responded with your message or the api response next we'll open the pub the developer portal so currently we are not able to see that revisions demo api here so api revisions is not visible here why because it has deployed to the gateway but it has not been published so we have created and tested via publisher we are ready to publish it to the publish so that it can be consumed by the developers next we'll refresh so the api revisions is available go to the subscriptions option we'll subscribe with the default application we'll go to the try it option we'll generate the production test key next we'll go to the try out out then execute cool so our api has successfully executed and tested by the developers next we'll add a new resource we'll go to the resources option we'll select the get resource we'll add this one plus we have to save this so once this has been saved let's go to the try it option so now you can see that a new resource has been added we can test it out so this has basically failed because this has not been available with the new revision so that's the difference so with the previous revision if you go to the try it option it executes and give the response but this is not available let's see what error message we are getting over here so it says the uh, 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 revision demo seven three. Okay, so this is giving the four not four the resource not found for the given API request. Okay, so how to overcome this issue, or how to understand how this works? So we'll have to go to deployments. We'll create a new revision. Added a new resource. We'll deploy to the gateway. So the new revision is ready with the new resource, but that will be available in the publisher portal only. Okay, so we'll go it here. Now let's try again. This time it works. Congrats on your API revisions demo. Next, in the developer portal, let's refresh. With this API, so we are able to see the two resources. We'll try it out. So this says invalid credentials. We need to generate the credentials again. We'll execute this. Cool. So we have successfully executed our API revisions. Okay. So we have created a new revision and this tested the same, and it has been now available with the new version. Now let's go back to the publisher portal and see what's the benefit of this revisions capability. So we'll go to the deployments tab and we'll go to the restore option. So we'll restore this API or the restore the first revision basically. We'll refresh this tab and only one resource is available. 
so this is a non breaking changes so this is not making changes to the signature only verse first resource was added but later we realized that this is not the one that we are expecting okay so so this has been restored this revision has been restored or we can also use this option to undeploy and we'll select a revision one and we'll deploy it here both options will have the same capability okay so next how to so we have seen how to restore next we can delete the revision we'll select and we'll delete this revision okay so once we have deleted there is no need to change make this the save option it automatically gets propagated we'll go to the tryout option only one resource is available now again we'll go to add a new revision now let's see only one available which is fine only one available because we have deleted that particular revision okay so the first revision and the third revision is have no difference significantly we'll go to the resources tab we see only one resource available again let's add that particular resource we'll save it here and go to the deployments we'll create a new revision okay we'll go to try it option okay let's see we have forget to save that configuration so after adding this we have to basically save this configuration okay once this has been saved we are good to create a new revision so this is again the same revision so we'll create a new revision again So these type of things will happen so that's why I have been uh, creating the redundant revisions just to keep you feel that how this works typically so uh, this is creating some issue let me select the resource again we'll save this okay so we'll have to add and then save it here and from here as well we can save and deploy so previous three revisions i have made uh, the mistake by just saving the configuration not adding the resources and that's the reason the new resource was not available so we'll now we'll go to the tryout option so this thing will happen with you as well so please do take care of this such happening so you have after adding the resource you have to save the configuration you can deploy it from there as well or you can use the deployments option to do the same okay so revision demo is here now if you go to the developer portal refresh so we have two revisions available now let's try creating a new revision okay so we already have uh, one two three four five so let's try out creating a new revision so it says that delete a revision or number of revisions at maximum of five so three was redundant we will uh, we'll have to delete so before deleting that let's do something interesting uh, by adding a new resource we'll use the mocky endpoint a new mocky endpoint uh, so just a minute okay so we'll add uh, this new resource in a new revision so we'll go to the resource options we'll add a new resource with a get request save save and deploy this will also ask the same thing that you have maximum revisions available so we'll we'll delete add it a new resource select the default deploy so this will delete the third revision and will create a new revision so that is the maximum quota it has right now so we'll go to the right option we have three resources available we'll go to the developer portal three resources available the last resource we have added we'll take a tight out so credentials invalid okay which is fine we'll generate a test key we'll run the again okay fine this is working absolutely fine 
so this completes our api divisions demo so thank you very much so thank you very much for your time and stay tuned for my upcoming hands-on lab exercise on wc2 api manager you can refer to my blog links and use full contents uh, on official wc2 api manager documentation and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification of my videos